Okay, okay. Hey, all right, big man. You want to make some big bucks. Huh? Let's see how tough you are. You know something about trucking? Dígame. Would you get me or what? All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking. So stay. All you have to do is stay. Yo, what's up, you? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, one. Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's going on, LOM community? Lockout men back in the building. And yes, I have made it down here to Florida. Now, what I was going to do, I was going to set up in front of the Florida monument for the backdrop. but it was just way too many people just coming over there taking pictures group pictures and all that stuff and I didn't want to I didn't want to do uh this part of the new to trucking series while holding that up for everybody so I decided to come over here in the shade which is a lot cooler it's about 100 degrees down here man Woo, my load don't drop until six o'clock in the morning, probably seven. Um, I already seen the place where I'm going to, I already pre tripped or uh, trip plan of where I'm going to set up for tonight so I can be there in the morning. I thought I'd just get out the truck right quick, take my 30, and hit you guys with the next part of the new to trucking series yo what's up my name's lockout man and i came across this website called overdrive.com that has like 30 parts of simple information for new drivers such as yourself i decided to make a video series of it you know what i'm saying if you guys want to know more information just go to overdrive.com the last episode was how companies uh calculate their miles so that you guys can get paid well in this episode we're going to break down two all right we're going to break down two the first one is how does practical mileage pay work that's a dog right there <laughs> dog, <laughs> dog sound like a squeaky toy coming around the corner <laughs> Woo all right here you go all right so check it out check it out many companies will advertise that they pray that they pay practical miles right but what are practical miles good question i want to know what practical miles is i'm sure you do too we about to find out right now practical mileage is a routing option and mileage calculation method that the trucking companies use to determine number one the route a truck driver will actually take from point A to point B to get a load delivered using the most common sense truck route. Number two, the number of miles that the load should pay. If you're a driver that's looking to maximize your income potential and not get shortchanged for the miles you run, then you may want to consider working for a company that pays practical mileage pay. Woo! All right, all right. So, so to finish up this right here, this practical mileage so that you guys can understand it, right? Practical mileage pay is by far the most preferred way that drivers want to be paid. And it is. It is the most preferred way that drivers want to get paid. I want to get paid practical miles. So, check this out right quick. Oh, man, it's good to sit down. Check this out right quick. So, I work for a company uh, or two companies that pay zip code to zip code. And with that, it only give you an 
not an actual mileage to where you're going, but a estimate mileage to where you're going. So let's say you're up in South Carolina. So what they're going to do is use that zip code for wherever you was at to the new zip code to where you're going. And then they actually break down that they give you that exaggerated miles though. You will put in the address where you're going to from where you actually at, right? So let's say, let's say the av let's say the estimated miles is 500, okay? That's the estimated miles that they got you going. But when you put in the GPS, the actual miles, because what, what the GPS does is going to probably take you through maybe the shortest route or no, I'm sorry. It's going to take you the fastest route to get to where you're going. All right. So estimated miles, 500. Actual miles, 650. You see, there's a big difference in that you're actually losing 150 miles you see what i'm saying so a lot of drivers don't like that what's good youtube lockout men here as i'm editing this video i come across a little bit more information about the calculated miles such as practical miles it is the miles on the most practical route which is what most companies are using now and i say most hub miles is all miles driven even if you get lost miss a turn do a lap or turn around in the truck stop whatever miles that you drive those are the miles you're going to get and the other one is HHG, which is Household Movers Guide, which means zip code to zip code, which also breaks down to usually 10% or more or less than practical miles. Now, zip code to zip code is what majority of the companies are using right now to calculate your miles. This comment comes from my last video uh, entitled, New to Trucking, How Do Companies Calculate the Number of Miles Owed to a Driver? And this comment comes from Brian O'Brien, which he states, which is a good representation of how to break down each of the calculated miles. Practical miles versus household good miles. Practical miles are basically similar to hub miles. The total miles driven from shipper to receiver. Household good miles are basically zip code to zip code. However, some companies that pay practical miles give you an assigned or planned route that will not let you deviate from it. Some may even penalize you for doing so. Companies that pay HHG miles usually don't mind whatever route you take as long as you meet the delivery time. But think about it. You will occasionally lose out on your CPM because some zip codes are huge. You might drive the furthest. You might drive the furthest opposite points of each zip code and lose in the neighborhood of 80 to 100 miles. But you gain more time on your clock to do more later. So that was just Brian O'Brien's two cents. So thank you, brother, man. I really do appreciate it. All right, so with that said, let's get back to the video. You just got to do your research again uh, to find out which company would pay, which company pays better versus the way they calculate their miles. All right, so that's, that's, that's my thing. Next, we about to get into 
We about to get into the next thing, so let's jump into that. All right, so check it out, y'all. I am in front of the Florida sign. That's what it is. All right, so before we get up out of here and make our planned trip down here to Florida right quick, I want to go ahead and finish up this last little bit for you guys so that you will understand the difference between how these companies out here calculate your miles all right all right now you guys take it easy the most common alternative to practical mileage pay is short route miles now i'm sure you guys probably heard about that short route miles but this is my first time hearing now i know like short miles is like almost like a sliding scale deal you get paid more for short miles now my company that i'm working for right now which i am very happy with they pay for like short miles like if you only going down the street or delivering within 100 miles i get paid percentage of that load at my previous two companies the first one i got paid for short mile runs they call it local runs so i got paid like 75 dollars per local run so on the other hand the company that i just left you know they, at least when I was there, it probably might be different. But when I was there, I wasn't getting paid short mile runs. It all was added into the entire mileage, which kind of sucks when you look at it that way. Short mile routes, let me try it again. Short route miles are just what it sounds like. And I wonder why you keep going off. It's just what it sounds like. It's a mileage calculations from point A to point B, taking the shortest route possible, all right? Which may include non-preferred truck routes. But let me tell you something. You gotta take the truck route because some of them short routes that they give you are truck restricted. So you have to eventually go the truck route anyway. I'm just saying. The problem with this is the calculations of the miles is that it's end up shortchanging the driver on the miles that they actually drove. Taking the shortest route may actually cost the driver a lot more time because the shortest route in terms of miles may actually be the longest route in terms of time. Does that make any sense? That should make plenty of sense, right? Drivers know that time is money. So, Many drivers will intentionally take the shortest time route, but doing so will increase the number of miles that they actually drove, which in turn leads to more fuel being burnt. And if you're an owner operator or a lease operator, fuel is the commodity right now. All right, so look, it's getting hot right here. Let's move over to the shade right quick. Let's do that. Uh, it's a local company out of Ohio, out of Worcester. Yeah. Woo, so I tell you, man, it is hot out here. But I like the hot. I like the heat. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. So check it out. So let me go ahead and finish this up for you guys right quick, all right? So as I already said, time is money, right? The, the time that we spending in the trucks costs us money if the truck is not moving. Time is money. I said that. We know that. As truck drivers, as we rolling, our time is valuable and our time is money. If the wheels ain't turning, we ain't making no money. We ain't making no money. Short route mileage pay is the one way company used to try to circumvent paying a driver for the work that they actually perform common rule of thumb is that the short route calculation method will shorter driver between five and eight percent 
of the actual miles that they actually drove over the course of the load. This does not mean that all short route paying truck trucking companies are bad companies. There are several companies that pay short route miles who end up being a great place to work at. So again, before I finish, do your research. That's what it all boils down to. Do your research with the company that you want to get with. If, if that short route or the short, mile, the short mile paying company pay you better for short miles, jump on that. When it boils down to it, just make sure you know how the miles is calculated. Whether is it calculated by short, zip code to zip code, practical, hub, or any other type of mile, mileage base that you get paid by, make sure that you find out how they calculate it. All right, well, that's it for this part right here of, of getting to the trucking game or new to the trucking industry. But I'm glad you guys is with me. I hope these videos is helping you out. If you know anybody that can benefit from these type of videos and more on my channel, yo, hit me up, subscribe like comment and hit that tip jar somewhere over here down here and that bell which is next to the subscribe button i appreciate all you guys watching thank you for sharing this video like i said share it to anybody that may need uh that may need this type of information next time or new to trucking. If you're interested in going into owner operation or lease purchasing, then this next part, the next episode is for you. How does fuel bonuses work? All right? So that this this part gonna be for you guys because as a company driver, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't, I mean, the company pays for the fuel, so the fuel bonus wouldn't pertain to me. Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back. But you gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize, don't be running back. Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone.